An hour before dawn today, four astronauts on a private ship rode a high-powered rocket into space. The image right there of this, it was the Polaris Dawn mission, and the goal is for these astronauts to go deeper into space than any person has gone in some 50 years. They'll also be testing out some important equipment. Tom Costello has more. Four, three, two, one, ignition. Roaring off the launch pad in the early morning hours, an all commercial group of space explorers riding in a SpaceX Dragon capsule and determined to break records, flying higher in orbit than any humans in more than 50 years and the first commercial crew to conduct a spacewalk while testing new spacesuits that might one day be used for SpaceX missions to the moon and Mars. Maybe not in the not too distant future, humans are gonna, are gonna finally reach uh, another planet other than our own. Mission commander billionaire Jared Isaacman, an accomplished pilot, now paying for his second trip into space on an Elon Musk SpaceX rocket. Pilot Scott Petit, a veteran Air Force fighter pilot. Mission specialist Sarah Gillis, a SpaceX engineer, and medical officer Anna Menon. The most dangerous portion of the mission, that spacewalk. To do it, the entire spaceship will be open to the vacuum of space with everyone suited up. They talked about it here on Today. It'll be about a two-hour operation overall. Mm -hmm. All of us will get suited in these brand new spacesuits mm -hmm. before we vent the spacecraft and then go outside. To prepare, they've been training for two and a half years, from nauseating centrifuge spinning to survival training to skydiving at the Air Force Academy where we caught up with them. Why do this? Why do we need to go into space? I mean, there are questions that we've been asking ourselves since like the, the dawn of civilization, right? That we don't know the answers to and the universe is so big. And something else that's big. Isaac Mint's first mission, Inspiration 4, raised a staggering $260 million for St. Jude Children's Hospital. We've raised millions since with Polaris Dawn and will continue to do so throughout the duration of the Polaris program. Tom Costello reporting. A few more details for you about this mission. It is set to last five days, and that spacewalk you heard about, that's scheduled for Thursday. Both Isaac Min, the commander, and Gillis, the SpaceX engineer, they will leave the spaceship, and part of their protocol requires that they always be in contact with the ship. There are no plans to make use of that 12-foot safety tether, and there are no jetpacks here. The other two astronauts, including New Hampshire's Scott Poteet, will monitor that mission from the inside. As for that distance record they're looking to set, the plan is to spend about 10 hours at a distance of 870 miles. At that distance, they'll be bombarded with radiation as much as we get in 50 years here at the surface. And there's a higher risk of hitting space debris. They will then settle into an orbit around 400 miles out for the remainder of the mission, still well beyond the space station.